up YouTube, TP Locks here bringing you guys another video. Yes, today you guys, I'm gonna show you some pretty cool things that you can do with just your bandana, okay? You guys will ask me questions, you know, what alternatives can you use to like a do-rag or a bonnet? Apparently Miss Monique says that bonnets aren't acceptable, so maybe we can get by with some of these bandana styles, all right? But today I'm gonna show you guys essentially how to tie a bandana, how to rock a bandana, even give you guys a way that you can rock it at night as your little nighttime do-rag, okay? If you're interested in that video, Stay tuned. Per usual, you guys, if you're not done so already, please hit that subscribe button right now, you guys. In addition to hitting that subscribe button, you guys definitely wanna make sure you hit that like button and that notification bell to stay notified on all the posts the moment I post. We're also gonna be introducing memberships, so those of you guys who join will be getting discounts on merchandise. You're gonna be getting personalized video shout outs and you're gonna be getting access to our members only live chat that we're gonna be doing every weekend, all right? So become a member today. Let's get into the video. So guys, when it comes to bandanas, we've seen countless time before it can be a very iconic look it can still be a very very swaggy look other than you know those negative connotations it actually has some pretty cool style benefits paisley print is a pretty iconic one I got these i will be having the link in the description i got these on amazon and i thought they were really dope because they got that silky texture i don't know if you guys can tell and they're big oh it's like a 35 inch i mean it's can't even fit it all in frame. There you go, it's like, it's huge. Now the reason why I think the size is so important on a bandana like this, you guys, is because if you've got locks and you got a big head like me, chances are you're gonna need an extendo clip. I, every time I go to like a gas station or anything like that, them little bandanas that they have just do not work for me. So today I'm gonna show you guys with these bandanas, how to get some, you know, pretty cool styles out of them, okay? So the first one, I think we'll just start right into it. We're gonna go with the headband. I got this darker blue, I got this lighter blue, you know what I'm saying? For each color, feel free to leave the affiliated gang in the comments. <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> Get my channel banned. Got gold here, you know what I'm saying? And then I got a red, all right? And we probably all know what, why I got this pack. I got this pack for the blue and for the red. You know what I'm saying? I am not affiliated put that out there this red is beautiful okay like you said you can see the the silkiness the softness the reason you love that silkiness and that softness is because it's gonna really do a great job of helping you retain that moisture it feels like satin but we got to be honest okay this is like a polyester blend in fact I wouldn't be surprised if it's, if it's not a hundred percent polyester but the feeling checks out you know it's gonna do what I need it to do I've already been wearing this blue one just to test it in and break it in. And I can say that it does a really good job of you know sealing in that moisture. It actually does a really good job of slicking down loose hairs as well. So anytime I, when I take this off, it really looks nice and smooth, my locks. So but the first style I wanna show you guys is the famous, the headband look. We've all seen rappers do it. It kinda looks like the little Naruto, kinda looks like a little ninja. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that headband. If you flip it inverse, it could also be the, the Tupac. So let me show you guys how I rock that. First thing you're gonna do, right? You're gonna fold it into a triangle, right? Fold it into a triangle. Just like that. Let me redo that for some of y'all. Some of y'all can't see, one more time. Now you just grab any corner, bring it down. If you want it to be smaller, this is gonna be for those of you guys who have smaller heads, okay? You can fold it down again to another triangle. Right. Now essentially you guys, once you have your triangle, all you're gonna do is take the top point of that triangle and fold it down. You're almost gonna wrap it like it's a, like it's a blunt, you know, like a pre-roll. And it doesn't have to be too neat. You just wanna roll it down or fold it down to get to the thickness of your desirability. All right, and fold it down. I kind of situate it how I want it. Place it on my forehead, make sure my hair is out the way. And then I just tie a simple knot in the back. Just like that. Easy. You might need to double knot it. Right, just make sure your locks are out the way. And there you have it. And here you have it. All right. That nice red bandana look. See? Go look to the side. 
if you can get it all in one band, you can get you a little, you know, band of some sort. Rock something similar to this. That way you're showcasing that headband. You know what I'm saying? It might not be perfect. Not necessarily perfect, but you can kind of get the gist. This is that headband look. And I think this is probably by far one of the more popular looks, right? Let me blow your mind here real quick. You see how we got this headband? Nice, flush, basically even. You know what I'm saying? I really like that print. If you wanted to rock that Tupac look, essentially all you would have to do is rotate, is rotate it. The accentuation of the knot. Now this ain't necessarily, you know what I'm saying? This ain't necessarily my bag right here, this Tupac swag, but I, I you know, people people like this. Add some frames, let's see what the frames, I always check with the frames, see what the frames gonna do. Hey, meh, you know, maybe, maybe not, probably not. It's essentially two styles right there. You got the Tupac look where you can get this little knot in the front, you know, headband style. This might look like Tupac or this might look like one of your aunties. I know one of my aunties used to walk around the house like this, but you've also got that, you know, that real cool, you know what I'm saying, Naruto headband style if you really like it as well. The beautiful thing about these bands is that they're really, really soft. So you're not gonna get too much friction. And they actually, they actually do a really good job of laying down your edges, you know? You can see that shine there. They look, it just looks really, really nice. All right. You can have your hair up or you can just have your hair down. All right. Let's get into the next one. Guys, this next bandana style I will call the Eat the Cake Anime. Okay, you definitely have seen your auntie or your grandma or somebody rocking this one. But I like this one because you can showcase your hair with it. Obviously, you know what I'm saying? You guys know I got my frame so you can accessorize with it. You could even wear a hat over it if you wanted to. Yeah, I got great coverage all over the head. And you can just rock it and go. Protect your hair. And maybe Monique will let you rock it. You know what I'm saying? Maybe this don't count as a bonnet. You know what I'm saying? But I like this style because it's not too much compression. It does give me some good coverage. I'm looking at it right now while I'm talking. I know it's a horrible little camera faux pas. But I like this because, it, you know, I can rock it around the house. I could just leave. I could go to sleep with it, wake up, brush my teeth, wash my face, and essentially not really have to worry about it. So I really like this because it is sort of versatile in that way. But let me show you how I do it. All of these styles have the same exact starting point, basically. You basically start it out. You just sprawl it all the way out. That's what I do. Pull it into a triangle. How many times you fold it is gonna be based on your head shape. I've got the big chrome dome combo. So, you know, I tend not to risk it. I use all this cloth if I can, okay? And basically what you're gonna do, guys, is you're gonna take these two corners here. Those are gonna be the ends that you're gonna tie around your head. And then this part right here, not the corner, but the part in the center is going to be where your, your head is gonna be, okay? Now keep your corners, fret knot. As long as you got that little piece right there, you're gonna be good. Sometimes it can get a little sloppy, especially when you're using all this material that I'm using. All right, just make sure you find your corners, make a simple little knot, tie it, and tie it and adjust. I'm gonna tie it and then I adjust kind of how I want it to lay based on how the pattern is. You gotta tie it in the back and make sure everything is set how you want it. At this point, if you want to pull some locks out, I say go ahead and do that. You know what I'm saying? Just make it look how you want it to look. And you can see, tie it again. All, right, all you're gonna do, you see all this excess? You see all that excess? You can let that hang if you want to. I don't do this, but you definitely can. But if you don't, want all this to hang. All you gotta do is tuck it. If you don't want any of that to hang, just tuck it. Tuck it right in there. All right? And what you should have is a nice, compact, snug, little bandana style. You can rock this outside. Typically, you don't really have to think too much about where you rock this. I mean, again, it just depends on your individual brand. White tee, summer shorts, 
you know what I'm saying? Maybe some 11 lows. I mean, you, you don't gotta do too, not too much. You can wear some flops. It doesn't have to be too fashionable. My swag, especially with this summer coming on, I might rock one of my tees or a white tee and some shorts and some flip flops. Call it a day, maybe some frames, call it a day. Easy. Let my hair hang out. About the third bandana style I'll show you guys. And I'd say probably though, thus far, this is probably the most practical. This, if you didn't want to wear a bonnet or you didn't want to wear a do-rag or you're you know, concerned about do-rag lines, this will be perfect. Note it, this is not snug at all. So you're not going to get any line and be, the way that we've got this on our head, you know, it's not going to do nothing but add some nice compression. It's going to help with those frizzies. Dough style. That's number three. Now this next style is if you want to do that, like that cool turban look. I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. You're going to need two bandanas. All right, this is how I accomplish this look. Essentially, you're going to need two headbands, okay? With this first headband, you're going to make just like a regular Naruto headband, just a regular bandana styled headband um, like we made in the first step, okay? So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to fold it down. You guys saw this step already. Now for this one, I'm gonna probably make it a little thin. I'm probably gonna make it as thin as I can. Okay, and you'll see why later. Okay, I'm gonna move this to the side. Then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lay this one on top of my head. Like so, like that. Lay it on top of my face, wrap it. Now while I'm, while I'm wrapping it, I am gonna to wanna to make sure I situate this hair the way that I want it, so make sure it's not in your face. And then all I'm gonna do is tie it. All right, make sure it's tight. And then what you're gonna do, you're gonna take the rest of your bandana and just tuck it. All right, you're just gonna tuck it, tuck it. Keep talking. See that? It's a nice little brim. Beautiful thing too about this, I mean if you want to, if you, you can keep like folding this and kind of playing with this and freaking this until you got it just the way you want to. But this is probably the mo more stylish of the looks. I think the, you know, kind of kind of get your, your Arab Sultan vibe. This is definitely the the more cultured look because you do get a little bit more style with that extra brim a little bit less practicality because who wants to take a headband and then wrap it around their head and all that stuff but i can say that this style is a decent one i actually didn't lay my hair down too well in there you see it a little clumpy hold up move that down you know, i always got to check and see what i look like with these frames with it yeah i think this is clean it's about as tight as your it's about as tight as you, you made those that knot in the back, all right? That is the last look. So essentially, you guys, those were, those were about four styles that I showed you guys with the bandanas. Those are the ones that I'm gonna be rocking. Hopefully, you guys, I'll give you some starting points. There's a bunch of other styles. If you got some other videos you wanna recommend, definitely leave them in the comments section. The, these bandanas are gonna be linked in the description as well, as well as the merch if you like the shirts. Now, this has been TP Locks signing out. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And Layla Locks, Tiny Locks. I got one more thing I gotta shoot. Say TP Locks, signing out. I can't have nothing in this house. What's going on, TP Locks fam? I go by the name of Backpack Beats. If you enjoy the music and all the beats on my man TP's channel, make sure you show some love over to my channel also. I'm there two days a week. Every Monday, we're making beats. And every Thursday, I DJ the No More Free Beat Show, showing love to everything underground. So if you like music, if you like beats, or if you like dope vibes, definitely check my channel out. It's real dope. Big shouts out to my man TP for giving me the platform, and we out. Appreciate it.